Hey Libra, this is Soul. And Libra, this is uh, your general forecast reading for the week of November 7th through the 13th, 2016. The messages coming forth will also be for Libra Moon and Libra Rising. Um, before I begin your messages, uh, Libra, I do want to say to everyone who lives in the United States, this upcoming week is very important for us. This is our uh, United States presidential election. So, if you register to vote, exercise your right to vote. Make your vote count. It doesn't matter what your party affiliation is uh, because on Wednesday, um, after it's all said and done, we will have to deal with whoever has been majority elected. Okay? So, make your vote count. With that said, let's get right into the uh, messages here. It seems like a pretty good week in terms of energy for some of you. So we're going to start off with the two of wands in the reverse. So I actually like the two of wands in the reverse. I always pick up different energy with the two of wands in the reverse. Uh, in contrast, the two of wands in the upright position is all about, you know, ideals and uh, forming ideals and laying down plans. But you're not moving forward um, with those things. You're just setting things up uh, in place. With the two of wands showing up in the uh, reverse position, that means that this week it's time for you to move forward. So it's positive energy moving forward. Normally, I'll see this movement forward when the three of wands shows up in the upright. But this is also, too, an indication of either a relationship moving forward or any ideals or plans that you have laid down in the past moving forward Um so this is a general reading, so you have to apply it to whatever it is that is close, personal or significant uh, for you. The wands represent fire energy, so it could uh, be a direct link to Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, male or female when it comes to a relationship, friendship, you know, anything. Like I said, apply it to your situation. Positive movement forward with the two of wands. The two of wands represents two people, so that's energy of two Um coming together and moving together and being equal okay so look at it that way also when i pick up the relationship of a relationship moving forward we have the um now we have the knight of wands in the upright position so that's that whole fire energy again so it may be that leo not leo libra a few libras that i'm reading for connected with uh, fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, male or female. Okay, the knight is the knight in shining armor. It also is a court card, so it represents an actual person. And the fact that it sits next to the two of wands in the reverse, that's a positive movement forward in terms of a relationship. Or a, I'm definitely getting a relationship on that aspect, but also to the uh, passion and intensity uh, related to any plans, ideals that you have laid down in the past. This is a good week to put that forward. Okay, that's giving you the the green light. And there's a lot of heat generated here uh, with this night showing up. Also, this night shows up for those Libras where it's almost um, inevitable for you to receive some sort of assistance. Um, someone comes to your rescue um, someone that you can rely on in a time of need, someone that you can depend on. This is the night. The night comes to someone's rescue. Um, and the rescue or the help or the assistance, whatever it is that you got going on. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship. This could be a friend. This could be a family member. This could be a co-worker. So just keep that in mind. You have to apply uh, the messages that I'm uh, giving you to whatever it is that's going on in your personal life. All right. Knight in shining armor. It also could be an indication. Uh, the fact that it sits next to the two, two people coming together of two for those single Libras. There could be a connection of either a new friendship, a new intimate or romantic partnership. Or it could be friends and then lovers, okay? So you have to look at it that way. But it comes in quickly. So this may be the week where um, some of you experience a connection with someone new. Um, and it may or may not be a fire sign. It all depends. I'm getting fire energy, but it could be any zodiac sign. In the middle of the week now, we have a major arcana, major life event. So this temperance card that's showing up uh, is all about balance. 
and being creative. So this creativity that I'm seeing associated with this temperance card is related to the two of wands in terms of any of you Libras out there who may or may not be creative artists. Um, but it's also an indication saying it's, it's positive energy for you to move forward with any uh, plans that you have laid down from the past. OK, uh, it's a balancing week and this balance that I'm picking up definitely represents your energy because Libras like to be balanced in all areas of their life. Um, so this is positive because she shows up in the air, right? So that means you're going to be feeling balanced uh, this upcoming week. So I would take advantage of that. And there's just a lot of creative energy coming through. So I don't know if I'm reading for a Libra to that's creative artist or if you're just going to be inspired um, creatively through the fact that this temperance is next to the uh, Knight of Wands. See, that's that intensity and that passion. So there's something that's passionate or there's something about Libra or there's something in terms of now, the passion could be something, you know, like anything that you're passionate about. You know, if you're passionate about doing, your, you know, whatever work that you do, you know, if you do, um, if you're a hairstylist or whatever. This is the uh, examples that I'm giving you that this may be the week that that whole passionate side of you is sort of like heightened, if you can understand that. But whatever it is that's going on, um just know that you have the balance that you will feel balanced okay and not feel like you're out of sync so this is actually pretty good energy and then to top it all off see we got a lot of fire here this is all i got is fire so i don't know if i'm reading for uh, <laughs> quite a few libras that are dealing with fire signs but we got a lot of fire here and this is the ace of wands now so it's this night could be the indication of uh, a connection for those single Libras. Um, again, getting together with a fire sign and it happens quickly. Friday going into the weekend. Uh, Ace of Wands is fresh starts, new beginnings. Uh, with the Wands, though, it just enhances the intensity. Because it's all about that fire energy. So it may be something that occurs very, very quickly. All right. We got the Two of Wands, the Knight of Wands, and now we have the Ace of Wands. So... And it could be some sort of with the ace. It could be a, um, as I see a newness associated with that, it could be some sort of new developments or some sort of turnaround in a development of something old. So think of it and it happens quickly. So that could be a relationship. That could be anything that you apply the messages that I'm giving. Something quickly could turn around. Uh, but I'm almost seeing that, uh, if it happens quickly, it's almost assuredly in a positive uh, way um, because we have that temperance card right in the middle to balance out all of that passion and that intensity. So you might feel heightened, but it will all be leveled or feel leveled to you. OK, if that makes sense. Anyway, Libra, this is a very good reading for you. Um I chose not to do the Oracle cards no more just to save time to get these videos up to you in a timely fashion. Um, with that said, this is your reading. So once again, I want to thank you for visiting my channel. I appreciate you all. Uh, please get out there and exercise your right to vote. Until the next time, Libra, I wish you all love and light. Take care. Bye.